Nico, you had the number change. I don't know if that's temporary or not. Why did you prefer number eight in high school? Why are you 12 now? What would you be in the fall? Yeah, uh, eight, eight was just my number in high school, and uh, they gave us the opportunity to choose our numbers for uh, Miami practice. So I pretty much went to eight, and then, um, you know, spring practice, I got 12. So, so it's my, my, my job to go do, do working. As you settle into the spring ball, you start putting pads on, things get a little more physical. Um, what are your thoughts on just, you know, you know, kind of expectations and then, you know, understanding the offense, uh, knowing the calls, learning from Joe, learning from Joey. Um, you kind of take, take us through what it's been like the first three, four days here. It's been super fun, man, just learning, learning from Joe, uh, the whole playbook. And, uh, yeah, it's been slowing down for me these past couple of days. Uh, not really thinking too much as I was on the first day. So um, really just uh, taking everything from Coach Joey, Coach Mitch, and Joe, and just, you know, learning day by day. Frank, or Jimmy, and then Frank. Nico, what's the hardest thing about learning this offense? I think the tempo for me uh, is what I'm still trying to get down. Um, moving the offense, not as fast as Joe, but just keeping the same tempo as him, so there's no big drop off. Um, and yeah, really the tempo and um, just keying reads and all that that goes into it uh, for me is just really the tempo getting that down. Did your high school run much up tempo? We didn't really run uh, too much tempo. I mean, we ran tempo obviously, but our tempo isn't isn't like Tennessee, so uh, it's a big jump from from high school to college. Uh, back here, Nico, how do you feel like coming in early has benefited you the most so far? Yeah, coming in early benefited me a lot. Um, just getting in the Miami practices, getting those under my belt, seeing the, uh, the live college reps, uh, what college players look like, and um, getting the, uh, adjusting to the speed a little bit more. So uh, I'm still, I th still think I'm adjusting the speed um, as, we're, as we're still going, but those, those uh, early practices definitely helped me. Patrick? Yeah, you're going back to the tempo. You, you obviously went to a lot of games, seen Tennessee's offense play on TV. Yeah. You obviously knew it was fast. Has it even been faster now you've been in it? You feel like you're, it's yeah, you, yeah, you can watch it all day you want, man, all night you want. But when, you, when you're actually in the offense, it's, it's a whole different, whole different ball game. So just getting that tempo down is it, it, way different than just watching it from the stands and when you're actually in it. And this is sort of a, not really a football question, but you committed over, like over a year ago. You've been a pretty big figure for, for Tennessee fans. What's the most unusual place you've been stopped or had fans come up to you and ask for a picture or say, hey, yeah. is, is there any place that you thought you'd be, I guess, safe from all that? And, and yeah, uh, shoot. I mean, I, I, I catch a couple people at like restaurants if I go out to eat um, out here in Tennessee. I'll ride my scooter around. I'll probably get a high from you know a couple of students on campus. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, not not too much stuff. I've been a pretty low key guy here. So. So many people are going to talk about the on the field stuff, but the, the work, the work, and the weight room leading up to this. You know, P. Land just said he put on about 12. I know Caleb's put on like 25 pounds. How much weight have you put on since you got here? Because you do look bigger from getting the Polynesian bowl. Yeah, so I weighed in when I first got here like 198. And then uh, when I most recently weighed myself before we left, I weighed in at 210. So just trying to maintain that weight, even with spring ball going. Um, I know I lose weight a lot easily just because, you know, we're running around. So just maintaining that weight, uh, getting the right stuff in my body, keeping the right calories and all that. So. What are they going to They told me uh, 215, 220 um, uh, by, the, by the first game. So, you know, I'm still prog progressing there. And, uh, you know, I'll get there. Here. Speaking right here, how, um, how different is it going to college receivers? Um, obviously, uh, they're probably making you a whole lot better, I would imagine. That's that's a big difference. Yeah, I think everybody in uh, college is, 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 is good. Um, you know, in high school, you maybe have one or two guys, and then the rest is kind of like, you know, just regular high school guys. And I don't want to say regular high school, just it's not at the, the same competition as, as these co this college level. So uh, definitely uh, the college guys got me better. Um, the, just the speed of them and how fast they are. You know, I, I, I won't really overthrow a ball. It would really just be on, like, on there or uh, working on not underthrowing is really what it is for me. So the receiver's definitely on me. Adams or Jack? 
Coach Hallway said he wanted you to go ahead and make mistakes and get through those sort of things. Uh, is that easy for you to deal with making mistakes, or do you get discouraged easily? How do you deal with that? I wouldn't say discouraged. I, I would I'd get mad at myself. Um, just because, like, it's like after, like, post-snap, is like, damn, like, you've seen it. Why didn't you make the play? you watching it in film. So just those little little regrets on, on, on that. But, um, no, I'm not afraid to make any mistakes, man. Uh, it's it's my, my, my third day of college real football. So, you know, I'm just getting adjusted to that, man. And, uh, you know, when I get tempo down and all that down, I think it will be, it'll slow down way, way, way more to, for me. Yeah, Nico, what has Joe been like as a leader to you? Just have to see him be a leader to the rest of this offense. Yeah, Joe's been great, uh, like a big brother to me when I first came here. Uh, yeah, man, he really just rallying all the troops around us, uh, getting everybody to buy in with what he's trying to build and what the team's trying to build. So, yeah, Joe's been great great for me and a uh, great big brother to me. Nico, what are your expectations for your freshman year? Yeah, my expectations for freshman year is just to be ready. Uh, I'm trying to get prepared as fast as I can. And uh, be ready whenever my number's called and, and help Joe out the, the best way possible I can. And, uh, yep. It's been reported you signed a pretty nice NIL deal. Does that put any pressure on you to perform? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, no, no pressure, man. And, uh, yeah, next next Max or Ryan? Sort of related to that, I guess, how are you – when you go, go to practice and go to meetings and everything, are you approaching things from the standpoint of, I, I need to be ready and compete for the job this year, or are you just kind of look, you know, looking at it more like, I just need to get better and not uh, look, let the chips fall where they may with that stuff? Yeah, sir, I'm, I'm always looking to get better and uh, be ready for this year. You know, it's my job to go out there and, and compete and, and be ready when my number's called. You know, anything could happen this season, so really just being um, – like how Joe was to handle last year, really, and uh, being you know being prepared whenever my numbers call. All right, thank you, Nico. Appreciate it.